Hey everybody, uh, it's Mike Marlborough once again. I wanted to make a video about um, using the law of attraction uh, for love, right? So does the law of attraction work for love? Um, most people, you know, when they first learn about the law of attraction, they really only ever apply it immediately to two sections of their life. E e either they feel like they want to have money or they want to attract, uh, you know, the person of their dreams. Right. And I don't blame you. Uh, I think that the, the, the main thing is this, right? So the first to answer the question directly, does the law of attraction work for love for attracting love? Yes, it does. All right. Um, so that leads to, okay, well, how do I do it? Right. And, uh, the real answer is this is, is using the law of attraction is like, is, uh, pretty much just, it, it's simple. It, it's not something that seems needs to be difficult. So as I explain this to you, hopefully you'll understand how to use the law of attraction in every area of your life, but I'll probably make a video about that just to make sure that everybody understands it. So using the law of attraction boils down to step one, right? Instead of just starting out and saying, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. This is who I want. This is how I want it to happen. This is stop. Just wait a minute, right? And say, what do I actually want? Now, this is the hardest thing for like most people because we are still wrapped up by the time you usually hear about the law, a law of attraction. You're still usually wrapped up in what you think that you should have, right? In order to impress some outward inner uh, outside being, right? Whether that's like the people that you know or to meet a certain status or something like that. And it becomes very, uh, the word I'm looking for, superficial, right? The law of attraction can be used very superficially. Um, and it can also, what ends up happening a lot of times too, is that you're going to start to try to manifest the thing that it's superficial, or you're going to immediately start doing something that's not in your favor, right? What that, what that really means is this, we all have limiting beliefs. We all have doubts about ourselves that are not true, but they've been placed on us. Uh, either by our own negative thinking or by what other people have told us about ourselves or th or what we think they think about us, right? Um, and so what, we, what that usually means is that we end up deciding what we want based on what we believe we can get, right? And the law of attraction in a different, a different word is really just faith, right? It's really just a way to build the belief in yourself, a way to get yourself to understand that the only things that you can get are the things that first you have decided, I am worth this and I'm willing to do what it takes to get. And I don't know how to get it, but I'm going to get it anyway. <laughs> right. And that's really it. it, it it's all based on like, I'm going to get it. And there's nothing that can get in my way except for me, right? Um, and so what you really end up doing, if you start too early or too soon trying to attract, is that you start to attract the same things, the same problems that you've already gotten come back to you multiple times. Um, and obviously you don't want to do that. So the first thing you have to know about the law of attraction is that the law of attraction is about you. Right. It's about what's in your mind, what what you believe about yourself and what you believe about the world and what you believe is attainable. All right. And the first thing you have to do is decide that everything that you believe is a lie, <laughs> because it, it's it's not that everything you believe is a lie, but most things that you believe were taught to you by someone else. Right now, you may be like, oh, well, that that doesn't make sense. You, you learn everything from somebody else. And that's true. But. I guess the best way to think about it is this, is that there are times where you'll consider, for example, um, and I, I guess the best way to, to think about this is if you're a, if you are typically not dating, right? 
there are times where you meet somebody or you see somebody and you're like, man, this person is just beautiful. I just, I really want to get to know this person, right? And you may even talk to them and you guys are laughing. You're like, are they flirting with me? Blah, blah, blah. And then you stop. And in your brain, you're like, nah, that voice is not beneficial to you. That voice is the voice of doubt, right? And that's you being reasonable. Reasonable is really the the voice of the external world, the, the voice of the of everything that you've been taught throughout your life coming back to remind you of your place in life. And what I want you to do today is before you start trying to use the law of attraction to attract love, right? I want you to first commit to working on listening to your thoughts, right? If you listen to the things that you say to yourself and you say, self, you are worth this kind of a love and really, really get a visual of like, I want a person who no matter what we can talk through all of our problems, they're beautiful, they're kind, um, and not just very, you know, basic one word answers, but really saying like what kindness looks like, what beautiful looks like, you know what I mean? What will, what will they smell like? Think about that. What will their hair be like? What kind of, uh, what kind of eyes will they have? Um, will they be, what will they be good at? What will they, you know, not like, and really, really understand what you're after. Now, don't put a face necessarily on this person. And that, I know that sounds weird to say. Uh, I'm saying don't put a face on this person necessarily. Um, but really, I'm saying understand what you like, right? Understand the things that really attract you, the things that you really like in a person uh, physically, right? And say, these are some things I want. Put that aside very quickly. Right. Because we tend to overly focus on the superficial if we if we focus on that too long and then put out the person. Right. This person that I, I want. You know, she's five foot. Five foot six ish. Right. She's got black hair. Um, she's statuesque. She works out. She's very intelligent. College degree. She, you know cooks well, she does this well, she's smart in business, she's smart in whatever you want, or he, if, uh, you know, depending on who you are. And you write those things down. And once you write those things down, you say, okay, well, now I have this person, right? What will we do together? Right? What would our life look like? Right? And really go the next step and say, I want this in my life. I want to be able to take vacations together, or I just want to be able to lounge in the house together, or I like to go to the movies with people. You know, like really think about the things that you want in your life, the actions that you would take with this person. And, and that takes a lot of visualization, right? That takes a lot of contemplation and, and patience and, and really thinking about what you're after, right? The law of attraction is 100% about you. It's not about attracting something else because you own every, there's, you can have whatever you want, right? Now, that's the problem. <laughs> you can have everything. So if, if you don't know what you want, then you'll take anything, right? You have to set the goal and set the standard. And until you do, you're going to get, you attract any and everything. And you're going to take the first thing that, that makes you feel like, oh, wow, this is cool. And uh, this is a way to kind of give yourself an opportunity to say what you want. So anyway, let me be a little bit more direct, a little bit more specific and kind of wrap this video up for you guys because we're getting a little long. So in order to attract someone using the law of attraction, the first thing you have to do is know what you're looking for, Right. Know that it's about you visualizing the life that you want with the person, uh, the, pers the personal traits of a person that you want, right? And the final thing is you have to approach everything, every person that you're with at, after that, giving them what you want to receive, 
right? And, and it's a very simple concept, but you cannot keep what you don't deserve and you only deserve what you can give. It's, it's essentially it's leadership, right? You, you lead people to give you what you want by giving it to them. And if they don't give you back what you want, there's multiple reasons why, but it doesn't really matter, right? They have to be able to see the opportunity in front of them, which is you, right? They, they have to be able to see that you are laying gold at their feet. And if they can't see that you're laying gold at their feet, then why give them the gold? You take it back and you keep it with you. You are a prize all to yourself. Um, and that means that you have to be patient. That means that you have to consistently consider what you want and consistently stay focused on what you want out of your relationship. Okay. So, and that's really it. it it's, it's now here's the thing though, that's going to require from you getting out of your comfort zone, growing yourself, because here's the thing. The reason why you haven't attracted the person that you want right now is because you have not been the person that you want. Does that make sense? You have to be, you have to be what you want to attract. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you do, if you enjoyed this, if you felt like I helped you in any way, hit the like and subscribe because there's more coming. Okay. This is Mike Malware. I love you guys. I hope everybody does well with attracting the love that they deserve and they want in their life. See you next time.